Hey everybody, we're in Mark 12, but in Mark 11, Jesus, remember, he's just ridden into Jerusalem. He's gotten a hero's welcome. He's overturned the tables of those money changers. And it says immediately, immediately we hear how Jesus, he runs into resistance. Immediately his authority is questioned. And now we're in chapter 12 and it's much the same. Things are getting heated. The power brokers of his day, they were the Pharisees, the religious elite, and the Herodians, those who pledged their allegiance to King Herod. They all want to do away with Jesus. So, what did they do? What did these power brokers do? They try and trap him. In chapter 12, you've just read it, they try and trap him religiously by testing his beliefs, his beliefs in the resurrection. They test him about the commandments, which Jesus is the most important commandment, they ask. But before that, they're so calculated. They try and trap Jesus by attempting to get him in trouble with the law. Uh, with both the religious elite and the political powers of his day. Uh, They asked Jesus, so Jesus, tell us about paying taxes. Friends, what's this business about paying taxes all about? In verse 14 and 15 of chapter 12, they quiz Jesus. They say, Jesus, is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or shouldn't we? Mark 12, 14 through 15 goes. How does Jesus answer? He asks for a coin and taking that coin with the face of Caesar on it, Caesar, who is the holy Roman emperor, Jesus simply says, here's what a Christian does. We give back to Caesar what is Caesar's. Now, if you read this, you probably scratched your head. What's he saying? He's saying, well, yep, Christians, pay your taxes. He says that as followers of Jesus, it's our responsibility, well, to be good citizens, to care for our community, to make investments that benefit all people, especially those who are without. In fact, maybe this is my opinion, but here's what I believe. It seems to me that Jesus would say, Shouldn't followers of Jesus be known as the best citizens in our communities? I mean, as followers of Jesus, people should look at us and how we live our lives. And shouldn't they say, I don't know if I believe what they believe, but the way they live their lives, I want some of that. Jesus says in verse 17, give to Caesars what is Caesars and to God what is God's. What he says is rather brilliant, if you ask me. Think about it. In that ancient world of Jesus' day, everyone knew what belonged to Caesar. Caesar ruled over his kingdom with an iron fist. Caesar had this geographic kingdom and an army and palaces all over that kingdom that he claimed as his own. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, Jesus says. Pay your taxes. But Jesus doesn't stop there. This is where he's just brilliant. Remember what he says? He says, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but but give to God what is God's. Which forces all of us to ask the question, well, what belongs to God? You and I know the answer to that, don't we? Everything. God owns all of it. Everything we have, everything around us, it belongs to God. God owns what I think is mine. God owned what Caesar thought was his, my salary, my home, the taxes I pay, my retirement accounts. Jesus reminds us it's all God's on loan to us. And knowing this, that it all ultimately belongs to God, doesn't it sort of, well, doesn't it liberate us from our nickel and diming? Our fear of not having enough and fighting about taxes and making, well, m- making life all about what I have or don't have. When it's all God's money and polit- well, politics and money, they, they no longer are at the center. That coin that Jesus held in his hand as followers of Jesus, that coin will never control or define me. Everything is God's. You're just God's stewards placed on this planet to do God's work with what God has entrusted you. So here's the deal. A couple of questions. For you, what does it mean to be a good citizen? Do you think this is an expectation of faith? 
or not? And secondly, how does knowing that everything belongs to God change how you view your wealth?